don't know what happened there, but for some reason the camera thought that SD card was cleaning out. But anyway, as I was seeing, um, but yeah, because of this, um, you know, HBO Max Max. I just noticed there's a long. I don't know if that's glue, but there's a long sort of streak across the back of here, just there. Looks like some sort of glue or something. Right there. Hmm. These are always very, very cheap cases. Very cheap. But here's the cheapest way to get on Blu ray. I don't know whether they'll release season 24 or 25 on Blu ray or. I highly doubt they'll release the Paramount specials on there. But yeah, there's an interesting story behind the Paramount specials. And basically the only reason they exist is because Paramount was salty because uh, HBO Max, uh, they agreed to a deal with HBO Max to basically give them the rights to have all of the South Park episodes that air on um, Comedy Central after the ad. Now, that was before Paramount Plus was a thing, but not too long after when Paramount Plus became a thing, they didn't have the rights to put their own show on there. So, yeah, which is why they decided, oh, we're gonna do Paramount Plus specials. So yeah, so it's a bit awkward at the moment, where, I mean, that's basically what the streaming wars it's partly about because Matt and Trey have obviously you know said yes to this, yes to this, yes to this, and they feel a bit guilty because obviously you know not everyone's going to have every service unless you sh unless uh, you do what a lot of people do and that share accounts because come on we all do that and if you don't you know that is the only affordable way to do that just like oh yeah you buy net Netflix you I'll buy BritBox you buy you buy Paramount Plus, I'll buy, buy HBO Max. We'll leave Disney Plus alone. But, uh, yeah. Just, I don't want Paramount Plus either, so... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's the 10th of July. This is going to be a very short unboxing, because it's literally just this. A little uh, mini USB fan that I got uh, from One Below for £3. So yeah, just because I need a... Ooh. Okay. I thought this would be made of plastic, but no, it's metal. Yeah, this thing is uh, metal. I would have thought it would have been made of plastic, but no. It don't. It does only have the one speed, but... Uh, let me... Plug it in. It does have a smell like... That, like, fresh out of, of the factory... Smell, but uh, hopefully it should go away. Plug it in, and immediately there it is. Those are metal blades, though. Those are metal blades, I believe. Yes, they are. Yeah, you don't get metal, metal bladed fan. Fucking hell, you don't get that nowadays. Um, so yeah, w watch out for kids for this. Um, I won't give this to kids. There's some little rubber stoppers on here, which I'm not sure what they're for. Because there's oh, there is a little instruction book. What are those little? Okay, I see. I see what the rubber stoppers are for. So the rubber stoppers you put on the fan. Stop it moving about. I see. So they must go on. They don't want to go on. That's the thing, they don't want to go on. How do you get these things on? I can't figure out how to get these little, these little uh, rubber stoppers on. I only know that because I've got them pictured in the picture on the back. Because 
So one of them goes across the back. But I can't get these onto the thing because the rubber is too thick. Oh, I got one of them on. I got the one on the back on. Can I get the other two on? second one on and let's see if I can get the third one on hey yeah we go go okay so there we go the rubber stoppers are on the fan so yeah there we go people there we go okay so it's the sixth of um what is it sixth of August and uh, first things off I got a replacement cassette from Muse and this one also is damaged on the side and Hasn't been put together properly at the side so I've messaged them although I haven't got the automatic reply so I might have to message them again because They sent it in another bloody bubble wrap plastic packet Yeah, um, which is just like why? Also, my dad opened it because uh, for some reason they just put my address on. They didn't put my name or anything on there. So he just saw it and just had our address on and he opened it. But uh, yeah, just like put it in a little cardboard box or something. Something where it's not going to get crushed. Or better yet, you wouldn't have had this issue in the first place if it had used a plastic box. And people are going, oh, single use plastic. It's not single use plastic though. Like, would you go and get a Blu-ray, uh, DVD, CD, whatever, would you get that used, uh, used, would you get that, uh, you know, would that come in a cardboard box? No, so why should a cassette, you know? Okay. This one, this person has used another record and just sent this and used it as uh, packing material, so I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, never heard of it. Andy Williams. Can't help for... That sounds vaguely familiar, actually. I might have to look that up, but... Uh, yeah, does that, does that one actually have a record in it? I don't know, I'll have a look at that one in a minute, but... Okay, no... No apparent ding. Oh, slight ding in the corner, but I'll live with that one for the price I got for. This was £15 for free delivery, brand new. This is Liam Gallagher. Why me? Why not? I love the camera there. So, yeah, um, I already own a uh, digital copy of this album. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't have a vinyl, the vinyl of it. I don't know if it ever got a cassette release. I don't think this one did. Yeah, look at yeah, there we go, like straightening it out a bit. So yeah, there we go, fifteen pound, brand new, and it's a gatefold, even though it's a single LP. Now, there is the deluxe version where you get the bonus tracks, um, though that, cheap as I could find that was around about fifty pound, brand new, which is not bad, but just like the two tracks, segmentary, not really interested in them. Classic line sleeve, that's nice. And yeah, it's just got standard black vinyl. But uh, yeah, and there we go. I'll have to clean this off at some point. There was someone actually selling one of these incredibly cheaply on eBay, starting the bidding at 99p, and I wondered why, and it was because it was a factory ever one, where one, where it had accidentally had two of these stickers, but, well, they're not stickers, but bits of paper put on, one here and one over here, covering up uh, two, two of the tracks, the last two tracks on the album, I believe. So it's just like, yeah, mm. I mean, if you didn't care about those tracks, then... I guess, but for me, just like, you know, I'm buying a record. 
I want all the tracks to be available. No download code. But uh, yeah, not much. Not much else to say about it on that. But uh, yeah, fifteen pound brand new. I mean, that's a rarity these days. That's a rare. Does this? I'm curious to what this has. If this actually has a. Yes, it does actually have a record in it. It does have a record in it. <laughs> Who is Andy Williams? The name just seems from Argosano. But yeah, the fact that they use that as packing material is always funny when they use another record. But uh, yeah, there we go. Seems like Liam Gallagher, I find each album he does is a bit better than the last one. Like, this is better than As You Were. And, um... His obviously most recent album, uh, Come On You Know. That one I would say is his best, but uh, yeah, there we go, people, there we go. So, um, my new Muse Will of the People replacement, this is the third replacement I've received. It came in another one of these bloody envelope, bloody type things. Although this time a miracle has happened, it's managed to survive bar a little like uh, sort of ding just there but I'll take that over it being crushed so yeah this is just by b pure pot luck though but uh, there we go okay so it's the 14th of September got a package here and if this is what I believe it is then I've got a bit of a story behind it or should I say a warning Uh, okay, so we've got an empty bit of cardboard there. Doesn't... Okay, so it did work. Okay, so it is what I thought it is. So, and it's been poking out. I don't know what that means, but okay. So, this is. Ooh. Some markings there. Screen goes there. So, this is Lady Gaga. Alejandro part one, so this is contains several remixes, but in most importantly it includes that is an extended mix. So yeah. Uh still to this day the version used in the video, which is around I think about eight minutes in length. That version's never seen the light of day outside of that music video. Anyway, so this I ordered from Horizon Music, which uh, was due out back in April. I think I ordered it um, probably February, and it was due out in April, and it hang and it hasn't come until now. And several times I messaged them saying, "When is this coming?" And uh, they initially said, "Look, there's been a delay in it because of shipments and that." So I thought, "Okay, fine." But then three times in a row. I said, look, just cancel the order. And they said, and I said, we can cancel the order. They said, oh, well, you can cancel the order if you want. Want books, they are due in the warehouse this week. And I thought, oh, God. It's like, so I said, okay, fine. And um, now online, there are mixed reviews on Horizon Music. Uh, most of them are positive, but there's a few out there that say he's a flat out scam. No, I won't say it's a flat-out scam, because one, a website won't be up that long otherwise. No, um, I won't say it was a scam, but uh, basically, and he has given me money back before, you might remember. Um, I ordered the Home Alone soundtrack, which unfortunately uh, never came because there was never any stock reissued for that. So eventually I just got a refund, though the Imagine Dragons cassette that I also ordered along with that, that did arrive in that, uh, fine in that, so yeah, and this one has technically arrived, but it took forever to arrive. 
the point where I can't even remember how much I paid for this. I literally cannot remember. Uh, the thing is, though, I, I sent him an email a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, just saying... Because he promised last week it would come in and it would be sent out last week, and it wasn't. And so on Monday, I uh, sent him a message saying, Look, you promised it absolute on Mon you know, by Monday, it's Monday, nothing. Can't see the order. Never got back to me. Hasn't yet to get back to me. Tuesday, however, this gets dispatched. So, yeah. But uh, I just thought I'd see, see on this. Anyway, let's, let's have a look at the picture disc itself. So, yeah, I just got this for... Um, <coughs> excuse me. The extended mix of Alejandro. But uh, yeah, I own... I also own the 7-inch uh, single work picture disc, which is just uh, the single and I think a remix of it on the other side. But uh, yeah, there's different versions, different remixes, but there we go people, there, there we go. Okay, so it's the 15th of September. Right here. Now this should be... Yep. Yep, and this is the black vinyl version. Now, I didn't pay for this. Um, I noticed that uh, my picture disc crackled a bit, and this is pretty common with a lot of picture discs, is because basically the vinyl on it is so thin, a lot of the time uh, you have to crackle it, Now nah, it crackles quite a bit on any dust picked up. Now, I can basically constantly clean it, but uh, yeah, that's a bit of a ping on the backside. And I uh, contacted the Robbie Williams store about it. And they said, uh, you know, um, if you like, we can send you a black vinyl version for free. And I thought, yeah, why not? I'll take them uh, up on that. Do you want um Oh, I just noticed. I just noticed there's a split along the top. I split along the top. I think I'll I'll let them know. Yeah, there's a split right across the top there. Oh god. I'm not having that. Uh god. Obviously what happened there is it at some point it's being crushed and uh that's what's caused it to split open there that is that is bloody annoying also um so yeah that is just bloody irritating as hell okay so an update on this the robbie williams vinyl that has a uh, damage in the top of it so uh basically i messaged the robbie williams store and they got back to me pretty quickly, and I will say that customer service is really good. And uh, they basically said, um, either you can have 25% off your next purchase, or we can give you a partial refund. And the partial refund was uh, £10.66. And uh, I took the refund, and uh, yeah, there we go. So, so uh, yeah, uh, now the black vinyl... Um, I might sell it, uh, to be honest, because um, I have no use for the black vinyl. I've already got, you know, the white and the, the blue vinyl, and obviously I've still got uh, the picture discs, which, as annoying as they'll be to play, I can still uh, play them, but every single time I'm going to have to thoroughly, you know, clean them, because the vinyl on them is particularly thin on those ones in particular, but, uh, yeah, that. There we go, people, there we go.